Hey guys, it's Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine and Wood Tramp Outdoors. I got another battle box for you here, Mission 102, August. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, uh, guys, we're gonna get right into this, but so many of you have asked me about the mystery boxes. Uh, and uh, asked me why I haven't reviewed one yet. Uh, and it's because, you know, we don't, we don't get those mystery boxes. But in truth, I don't really need to because you guys are already showcasing them on the uh, Battle Box members only on Facebook. So, and I think there's some other YouTube videos out there. There's no reason for me to have to do that for you. So, but I did want to explain a couple questions to you here because I reached out to my contact at Battle Box and I'm gonna have to put on my glasses here, my real glasses, so I can read it to you. <clears throat> um, it says, a couple times a year we do a mystery box sale. It's mainly items from past boxes, but definitely some items we sell in the shop that have never been in a past mission. So you, you might get stuff that you've never even seen before, but more than likely it's gonna be you know, stuff that uh, you have seen. Uh, this is also important. We do a small batch, four tiers, a $75 box that has a $130, $133 MSRP, $250 that has a $400 MSRP, $500 with a $909 MSRP, and a $1,000 box with $1,866 worth of gear. Okay, um, <clears throat> It's not a large amount, so they will sell out quickly, which I've heard that happens. We open it up to active subscribers first and only open it up to everyone if it doesn't sell out. But I think it sells out a lot of times. It's just for people when one box a month isn't enough. Also a good opportunity to buy stuff and sell trade it somewhere and make a profit. Okay, something like that. Whatever you're wanting to do. So that came straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, and again, the only reason that we haven't gotten involved with that is because you guys are already doing it. So there's no sense in us uh, trying to do that as well. So, with that being said, <clears throat> we're going to get off into the box. You notice I don't have the box out here with me. That's why you had the uh, little front-end video at the bar again. You wouldn't believe how many people ask me to keep doing those in the bar, but maybe someday we'll do it more, but right now we're not. But the basic box, first of all, uh, comes in at $34.99. Uh, advanced box is $64.99. The Pro Box is $119.99. And the Pro Plus is $169.99. Uh, and what we have found on the average, you know, you either double or, co or come close to double. Sometimes it's been more than that. You know, it's been quite a bit more than double. So this month for August, Mission 102, let's talk about uh, the four items that are in the basic box. And you can see I brought out that, that uh, backpack that we were talking about. Um, let me see here. Where is it? I kind of got this packed in such a way that... I got everything here that I need right there. So let's just go from number one. That's this guy right here. Uh, and I've seen these quite a bit. And the person that introduced me to these uh, stake lock or slot lock stakes uh, was actually an arborist that stakes out his uh, new trees with these. And he said, you ought to try these out. And I never did. And lo and behold, here they are in the basic box for August. Uh, but these are, are kind of like tent stakes on steroids. And, um, you know, I don't always take out plastic st tent stakes, but I tell you, these are, are really decent. <clears throat> because what you do is you just put your line through here, pull it through, and then lock it. You can tighten it up and then lock it in place and come back around and put it back through again, and it's not ever going to come loose. If it does happen to come loose, uh, you just leave the stake in the ground and do it all over again. And these are pretty cool. Now, where I would use something like this, um, you know, winter time here can get down below zero, um, you know, in, for not long periods of time, but up to 20 below zero real temperatures. And wind chill takes you down to about 40, 50 below. When that happens over a course of four or five days, uh, the ground gets really, really hard and you can't drive a wooden stake in there it'll split it'll break um, i've bent over metal stakes uh, plenty of times 
But these stakes like this, this is made out of a poly. Let me see, it says uh, Permalon, a premium impact grade glass filled thermoplastic polymer that's virtually indestructible. And I can tell you, these you can drive into frozen ground if you're patient. They'll go and they'll stay in there all night long. They give these a value of $7.99. So that's, that's your number one thing in the basic box. Then number two, I love stuff like this when it comes in. This is from Kuju, Kuju Cafe, right here. Comes in a box, there are six pouches in here. And basically uh, what you do with these is you uh, take them out of the foil pouch that they're in and then open them up and they have wings that hang on the side of your coffee cup. Uh, and then you just pour your, your hot water in, let it set, brew, and you're drinking coffee. It's a real convenient way uh, to where you don't have to take out a jar of uh, freeze dried coffee or you know a, a bag of course once you put coffee in a, a freeze dried coffee in a ziploc bag you know three or four days it's all together and you got to break it up to use it this is a lot more convenient they give this a value of $14.99 uh, and if you just want to take out a cup or two there's your answer right there the kuju coffee base camp pour over the third item in the basic box this month comes from Panther Vision. It's called the Gumby Lamp LED Headlamp. And uh, I thought this was kind of an interesting little gizmo here um, because one of the things that they talk about is the inconvenience of overuse of a traditional headlamp, which when it has the webbing strap on it, after a period of time, it loses its elasticity, and now you're duct taping it to get, make it stay in place. So it becomes really cumbersome to jack with them when it happens like that. You're either replacing the band, which most people don't. They just toss them, or they do what I just said. You're duct taping it to make it fit your head, and hopefully it won't stretch anymore. This is the remedy to that. This is a elastized rubber-style band that is adjustable for anybody's girth on their head from tiny to unbelievably colossus goliastized head right uh, and um, it's got it said three different modes but when I count this thinking you can see this there's one no not yet oh there we go there's one and now I'm blind there's two there's three there's four did it change yeah it did that, so that's four to me. Let's do it again. There's one, two, three, four. So, I mean, it says four. It says three, but it's got four. But, I mean, this is a really neat idea. It's one piece. You know, um, I don't know how long uh, the bands are going to last, but they are very comfortable. Uh, you don't have to wear anything super tight on your head with this. But... You know, one of the big gripes that we've had with headlamps, because we've seen uh, probably 30, maybe even more of those, and they come from super little tiny square deals that don't last very long at all. I'm talking hours, and then it's, it's done. Uh, to the big mega battery style that, you know, it's like weight, lifting weights with your neck. Um, so we've seen a lot of them, and this is probably the lightest of this size and the lumens that this carries with it. It'll really brighten up your area, nice to work with. Um, I haven't had it out on a trail at nighttime to try it out, but I'm thinking it would, it would light up pretty good for about 10 feet, you know, enough to walk. Um, you're not gonna run through the woods with this, um, but you'll definitely be able to walk at a good clip without any problem. They give this a value of $24.99. Um, and when we looked on the website, that's exactly what it was there for. So that takes us to uh, the fourth item. Just stick that right down there. And the fourth item comes from Niglo. We've seen a lot of Niglo stuff. I didn't take it off the pouch or off the package because I wanted you to be able to see it really, really well. This is a Gear Aid Niglo. Um, and basically what this is, is a light activated um, illumination device that has a key ring clip on it that you can put this on your, your, your coat uh, zipper, you can put it on a tent uh, zipper, just any zipper, uh, or anything that you want to be illuminated. 
Um, and they are pretty bright. Uh, they don't last real long because of the size of fuel cell that they have on them. But while they're going, they, you know, we're, we're talking a few hours before it dies totally out. Uh, but it doesn't need the sunlight. It'll use any type of light, natural or artificial sunlight, and it will recharge this thing. And you can see the sunlight I'm in right now, which I'm under a heavy canopy. And I did that because it's 86 degrees out. Uh, and so that's kind of warm. But because I'm under the canopy and the wind is blowing at a pretty good clip, I'm nice and cool right now because I'm sedentary. What I'm getting at is that even though I'm sitting here in this shade, this thing is still charging. So that is your basic box. You got into it for $34.99 and it has a retail value of $54. So you're $20 to the good on this. And again, that's one of the reasons why we have endorsed BattleBox. So that takes us to the advanced box, and there's only one item in here, uh, and you are into this box for $64.99. And remember, whatever you pay the $34.99, you get all that gear plus what I'm getting ready to show you, and this is called the Battle Box Onyx. Okay, I'm going to close this back up a little bit. Yeah, I had a lot of emails about this pack. And, and I can tell you, I, I mentioned today that um, it's, it's really comfortable. Once you adjust the straps to your height and your, your body size, it carries 30 pounds very, very easy. So all this month of battle boxes in here, plus a couple other pieces of gear that I'll show you. But anyway, this is the battle box Onyx. It is a nine inch blade. Uh, and the blade is made out of 8CR14 MOV stainless. And the blade itself is four and a half inches long. It's got a molded uh, sheath. And the scales on this, these were interesting because they sure do not feel like it. Uh, let me see here. Uh, and an injection molded handle for secure grip. A lot of these injection molded handles are a little bit too stiff. Then they cause hot spots in the hand really, really bad. Not this guy. Kind of reminds me of the Mora Garberg, except this is stainless, where the Garberg is uh, 1095 high carbon steel. Um, I do like this knife. I didn't, I've got a ferro rod probably up in the haversack up there. Um, but that'd be one area that I'd question is if is this is sharp enough to be able to strike your ferro rod. Again, they give this a value of 60 or $49.99. And combining the two boxes together, your um, value here comes out to $104. That's pretty good. You're only $64.99 in. So that's the Pro Box. Now the Pro Plus. And it was funny about this. You know, we, we got some static about this item. Uh, it comes from Rhino USA. Uh, and if you remember back several months ago, there was a box that had several Rhino products in it. Ratcheting straps. Uh, I think there was a tire gauge in there. I don't remember everything that was in there, but for us, we looked at it because we strap a lot of gear down on trailers and our trucks. Um, we thought, hey man, that's, that's great. Um, and to us, in our mind, that is outdoor related. But then there were several people that wrote us uh, and said, you know, not happy with the Rhino products. They have nothing to do with the outdoors. Yes, they do. Uh, it just depends on the paradigm that you're looking through. For us, yeah, it does. And when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is good. And everybody that saw it uh, on the team said the same thing. This is a great ad. So let me get this out. This is the kinetic recovery rope. Okay, so we're going to go here. I had to put this in the big bucket, right? And it comes in its own carrying case. Oops. And it's not light. I'll tell you that. It doesn't say on here how many pounds it is. Uh, but it does, I would say probably five pounds. Okay. Um, let me see here. I just want to, it's 20 foot long. Um, and it is a kinetic rope, which means that it stretches out 
and it stores energy until you start to pull and then when it releases it gives you that added little bump to help pull out whatever you're doing. Uh, it's three quarter inches and has over a three ton working load limit that's 6,000 pounds and a minimum brake strength this is impressive at 19,965 pounds. It's backed by a lifetime guarantee and uh, this is uh, one of those things that you will definitely definitely want to put inside your vehicle that's where it's going to go in mine but let me show this to you i you know i'm digging this thing i'm not going to open all the way up because i'm out here but i do want to show it to you this is it man i mean that that is stout that is very stout now just so i can help you out with this do not take this loop that is attached here and hook it to your towing uh ropes or excuse me, your towing hooks, use a soft shackle. You have to use a soft shackle. Never ever attach this or any other type of uh, device that's helping you to tow out, hooking it to a class three hitch, any type of frame or bumper hitch. They're not made for that. Uh, you will, you know, you could have the potential of pulling that off and it coming back and busting through your grill or God forbid coming through your windshield and taking your head off. That that's the truth. That's happened. So this is a great ad. You know, this is gonna go in the back under the back seat of my truck. Yeah, you guys haven't seen the different truck, the new truck I got. I got another Ford F-150. This time I got uh, a crew cab on one of the four doors. I'm kind of digging it. This will go right in the back. Underneath the back seat is a pan that this will fit in perfectly, and that's where this will stay. And there are also down there right now is a couple of the of the Rhino USA uh, ratcheting straps. So you know winter's coming on, and that'll be a big deal for us. Okay, so that takes us on to the Pro Plus. And again, uh, you got into this uh, at $119.99 all the year together. Is $214. That's uh, almost $100 to the good that you've uh, done for yourself. And that takes us to the last one. And we got a lot of great reviews about this guy. Let me see here. Let me find it. This is a folder from ATAC. And it's called the ATAC Ghost. All right, this is the ATAC Ghost, and we had heard a lot of good stuff about this particular pocket knife um, folder, mostly from first responders, uh, but some, some woodsmen also said that they, they like the feel of this in their pocket. Uh, there's a great front-end story on this, but I'm just going to bypass all the story about it, uh, let you read it uh, in your mission brief. It's made out of Sandvik 12C27 stainless steel. Uh, has a blade length of 3.25 inches, overall length of 7.5, and it weighs 4.8 ounces, which is hardly anything. Uh, it's aluminum carbon, fi carbon fiber handle, has a retractable seat belt cutter, and it was designed by Adam Siegmiller. Um, it's a great little knife, you know, I mean, again, you know, I'm not big on serrations uh, on, on any knife, but... Uh, it seems that a lot of people love this knife. I'll tell you what I do like about it. Number one, the weight. Number two, how it deploys. Very, very easy. Locks in place very well. Um, I do like the idea, you know, from a first responder's uh, standpoint of this built-in seat belt cutter. And there's a lot of things you can do with it. But, I mean, if you're ever in a position where you need a seat belt cutter, there's nothing like it that does it in such a quick fashion. So that is a great ad also. Um, if I'm being honest with you, because I had people ask me, is this something that would replace my EDC that I always carry around, uh, the CRKT? Uh, the answer is no. It's not that type of knife for me, but it might be for you. Again, this is an opinion thing only, uh, but it's a little bit on the light side for me. Um, I don't know that I could trust pounding on this thing, you know, batoning with it like I do my my uh, CRKT, you know, but this is a beautiful little knife, great design, and the price on it is very, very attractive at only $89.99. Now, remember, you were into this box for $169.99, 
and adding everything together it comes to 304 um, 304 dollars even so you know you're over like 240 dollars excuse me 140 dollars uh, to the good you know again that's one of the reasons why we continue to endorse battle box uh, so get out there and check out mission number 102 i think some are still available by now uh, and also the mystery boxes and uh, you tell us what you think about the mystery box so thanks for watching appreciate all your support all the emails and questions and even your comments no matter if they're good or bad we do like to read them so until next time you guys ride free you live free and as always you be safe out there